three of us from Asian Access uh, pretty quickly came up. We were actually at our spring retreat um, when we uh, first felt the earthquake and we knew it was something out of the ordinary and uh, we soon realized the extent uh, of the earthquake and the tsunami. Although we were tasked with uh, helping the churches or finding the churches, we realized that they were, they were powerless to do anything at that time. Meanwhile, everywhere we looked, there were people in need. Uh, people who did not have the uh, basic necessities. Uh, so we were uh, doing two things at once. We were going and seeking out churches and pastors. At the same time, we were uh, helping the locals as we saw them and trying to meet needs. Um, participation with the local churches gave us hope. We were bringing supplies to these churches, and churches that were previously unknown in their communities became centers for disaster relief. Pretty early on, we saw the, uh, the isolation of these people and felt like they needed somehow, they needed some way to rebuild their community. <clears throat> so we got the idea of, of doing maybe barbecues where uh, a large number of people could come out, uh, receive the uh, food, um, and then maybe stick around, and we could be uh, talking with these people, hearing their stories. Um, so. Uh, we said, let's do it. And I remember going to the local home centers where I am and just buying several barbecue grills and bringing it up here. Um, it happened during <clears throat> what in Japan we call Golden Week. It's a time of a holiday in early May. Um, I remember the day pretty clearly. Um, actually, this is the spot where we, we held the first barbecue in this <clears throat> sandbox right here and this slide behind me uh, where we were stationed and people would just line up next to the slide and receive the, the hot meal. We heard so many stories of tragedy and heartbreak, and people would uh, be crying as they'd be telling these stories to us. And we had many opportunities to pray with these people. And to this day, some of those, some of our most uh, significant relationships uh, came out of some of these barbecues that we've done. You know, the people here, they don't know the differences between denominations or organizations. All they know, all they know is that their help is coming from Jesus. Jesus is good, and the people who follow Jesus are good. I've been hearing a lot of stories of, of people feeling forgotten, uh, telling us, uh, don't forget us when you go back to your hometown. And God convicted me. He said, uh, somehow we need to be doing more. The church needs to be doing more. And uh, to show these people that God has not forgotten them, that God has not left them. And so for me, what that meant was to seriously start con considering moving up here um, and be a, being, being a part of this community. Uh, we want to show them that uh, we're in here for the long haul. Uh, we want to uh, continue to bring hope, continue to send the message that, uh, that God is alive, God is, uh, that God will be here. Our, our family will be relocating up here uh, come March of this year. We're moving from um, Hyogoken near Kobe. Um, I think uh, for the nation of Japan, um, there's never been a time where the people have been more open to the news of hope, the news of uh, the good news of grace. They're so open in the sense that they're not holding back. In fact, they're saying, please help me. Uh, please come here. I'm really happy that um, our family has chosen what I consider to be God's best. There's many options and we were doing good work uh, back in our home in uh, Hyogo, but God has invited us to be up here, and it's that feeling like um, it's that feeling when God invites you to do something and you respond, and you feel like you made the right choice. I think it's just in God's timing, the harvest is ripe.